Uh, duty calls commence if your levels above 18 will be synced. Okay, let's do this. This is exciting. The story is getting, you know, more juicier. Captain Blademan, sir, I've discovered something shocking, something horrible. Someone has been stealing gemstones from copper bill mines and... Wait, those gauntlets, those boots. You, one of Quiveron's men, sir. That man is a thief and a scoundrel. And what of it? His coin's good, and that's what counts. What? Captain Bladewin? Are you working with these men? It cannot be! <laughs> God, it looks so shocked and dramatic. I told you to stay in Horizon, Fufulupa. It didn't have to be like this. That, that get their Nacolite, I'd get my gill, and none would be the wiser. But sir, what if the crimes are uncovered? What if Lord Lolorito finds out? You goddamn fool, don't you see? I am acting under the authority of Lord Lolorito himself. Oh! Wait, is Lord Lolorito in on this? No, no, that can't be true. Why do you think people join the Brass Blades for Fulup? Oh, why do you think... <laughs> Sorry, I got the voices mixed up. Why do you think people join the Brass Blades for Fulupa? To serve and protect? Ha! We nod the bloody flames here. We do this for the coin. You there, adventurer. Do you remember me? Well, I remember you. Sir Bar Baron Von Quivron Fourth Esquire. Holy shit, that's a big name. That's a fancy name. I'm Sir Baron Von Quivron Fourth Esquire. You killed my brother, and now I'm going to return the favor. God, this is like a soap opera. Well, that settles it. It's clear in everyone's best interest that both of you die. Oh shit! It's exciting. All right, so we got Bla uh, Blade Win over here. You know, let's fight Blade Win first. Probably best bet is best bet for us to go ahead and kill him first and take him out. And the other guys preoccupied with the other mage over there. Unless the mage, not the mage, is firing at us, isn't he? All right. Well, we've got the brass blades not on our side. That's not good exactly. Let's go ahead and just fight this. Uh, four yams. Oh god, we're gonna probably gonna die here, aren't we? We probably should attack Quiveron Esquire, shouldn't we? You know, let's do that. Switch over to Quiveron Esquire and see if we can fight off Quiveron Esquire first. There we go. Seems like he is weak enough, so we should be able to have no problem fighting him. Let's go ahead and pop a defensive and pop a potion. There we go. Heather. No, we don't need to uh, mana. I, I don't think mana is going to be really needed for us at the moment. Alright, sweet, finally. You're stronger than I thought. Really now? I think Elliot is a badass over here, so, I mean, you be, uh, get prepared to get your ass kicked or something. As long as Pufulupa the Unbending will get the Grass Blades, I think we'll be able to take on Blade Wind for your arms. Should be no problem. Let's go ahead and pop a quick buff. There we go. Let's go and fight him. Is he healing us? I think Pufulupa might be healing us a little bit, which would be pretty wonderful if he was. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh god, we're taking lots of damage over here. Uh, damn you, you and everything. Oh god, uh, our healing is still on cooldown, uh, are we allowed to use a potion yet? Are we allowed to use another potion, the medicine? Uh, no, tw uh, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, alright. I think we'll be fine with 10 seconds. Oh, sweet! Uh, Fufalupa used cure on us. Oh, dodge that. Dodge that, of course. Good. Let's see, and as soon as we can, oh, dodge that as well. Let's see, we can use a potion, okay, use it real quick. There we go, heal up ourselves. Wonderful. As long as we can keep, you know, as long as we can stay uh, healed up to a certain point and still do enough damage to Blade Wind, we should be just fine. We should be a okay. And as long as we avoid all combat, and if uh, Fufalupa can send us cure, ma it can use cure magic on us every now and then, that'd be also awesome. Let's fight the brass blades over here. These brass blades are gonna be easy to fight. God, Fufalupa is just taking them all, isn't he? There we go. Fight the brass blades. I swear, the corruption, corruption of the government is everywhere. All right then. Duty complete. Wonderful. Well, that was actually really fun. I'm not even kidding you. That was really awesome. That's enough, Bladewin. Your partner is dead, and your plans are undone. You have no reason left to fight. Hey, Lefric! Stay out of this, Lefric. I don't take orders from you. I don't know why they have the same voice, but whatever. I have spared your life before, but if you interfere, I will not show you mercy. And what mercy will he show you, I wonder? Um... Uh, you who have done so much in another man's name. What are you blathering on about? 
Every fisherman in Crescent Cove knew about your meeting, you arrogant fool. Quiveron's men couldn't keep their mouths shut. Imagine Lord Lorito's surprise when he when he learned that a rank and file brass blade was using his name to advance a personal agenda. <clears throat> he knows seven hells, but I'm a captain. He wouldn't. I was once a captain too, remember? And we both know what that happened to me. Well fought, boy. You've done the brass blades of Rose proud. Captain Lefrick, Captain Bladewin, he he said that Lord Lorito. Lord Lorito wouldn't waste his time on a small scale smuggling operation. This is all Bladewin's doing. <clears throat> what else did he say? That our brethren are no better? And that each and every one cares for naught but coin? Ha! Huh. Mere excuses to justify his schemes. Aye, we know we no shortage on greedy sods. Some who'd probably sell their own mothers into slavery if the price was right. Shit. But if a man like you, Fofalupa, man good and true, uh, whom the small folk respect. Which is why I gave you the dagger. The brass blades of the rose need a leader with honor. And you're the most honorable man I know. Captain. <laughs> oh man, this is a sad story. This is a very sappy story. Thank you for the help, Elliot. The captain and I will escort Captain Blade one back to Horizon. Pray visit me in town when next you return. I will, when he's a captain. Or when he, she, I don't know. It's difficult to tell gender with these guys. I'm guessing he. Well, that was fun. That was pretty cool. What's next for us to do? We gotta go back to Horizon. Alright. Let's go ahead and head over there. And a buzzard second us. You know, buzzard, we got no qualms with you. We don't want to fight. Well, I don't want to personally fight. If you want to fight somebody, go fight any other creature in the area. Just don't attack me. He, see, Sojiro is running over there. You could probably attack him. There we go. <laughs> so I also realized... Oh, look at that. We got a bonus. Let's add into Strength. There we go. As a Pugilist, we'll probably need to stack a little bit more in order to Dexterity. But as a um, as a Monk, which I kind of want to build Elliot to be, we apparently need to stack Strength in order to increase our melee damage. And I got a... A notification? Nah, I need it. I swear, every single time I update something on my phone, like little apps and stuff, it just constantly starts just to more and more of like I guess I don't know spams and notifications. Character's name called My Immersion. All right, good for you. Welcome back, Elliot. So much has happened. Captain <coughs> Bladewind has been arrested and stripped of rank, which means the Brass Blades of the Rose no longer have a captain. Until a new one is designated. I've been ordered to serve as acting captain of the Horizon Garrison. Though doubtless this is only a temporary arrangement, I will do my utmost to represent the Brethren and protect the people of Horizon. Thank you, Elliot, for your service to the Sultane. You are a true hero. And we get some gear. Alright, uh, let's do this. There we go. Da da da! You get some gear and you do epic things! And look at that, now we got a yellow jacket. A green pants, yellow jacket, wonderful. <laughs> we told uh, Elliot definitely knows how to accessorize. I salute you, honor friend. As acting captain, I should be much obliged if you will grant me a personal request. In our effort to ascertain the full extent of the former captain's corruption, we have been poring over the personal correspondence. Our search un unearthed this sealed letter addressed to a man named Owen, but he is one of the Sultan Worth elite. I can. I can think of no reason why I should have any dealings with Bladewin. We know now that the former captain was consorting with a coalition of criminals. Could it be that Owen was too? This letter may well serve as evidence of the coalition, so I dare not tamper with it myself. But given this event of recent days, I know I knew not whom to trust with this information until now. I have chosen you, Elliot. Pray bear the letter to Mistress Mamori of the Quicksand and relate the circumstances of its discovery. Not only is she a staunch supporter of the Sultana, but she is a well acquainted with Sultan Worth. She will know how best to proceed. Alright, so this guy has no reason to trust anybody else but us, and is gonna make us do the, the dirty work for all this. We gotta go back to Ulda. Alright, well, you know what? Let's take a Chocobo Keep. Also, it's currently foggy. Let me go look at how foggy. Actually, you know, I'll probably get to look at how foggy it is by using the Chocobo Keep. There we go. Let's take a higher Chocobo Porter and go to Ulda. Yep, there we go, one minute. I have, I have no problem with that. I have no problem riding around for one minute. Now, seeing a foggy desert, that's... Actually, it's kind of scary, you know? Because I can't even see far away whatsoever. The sunny would be kind of nice, but this kind of foggy? Oh, that's... 
<laughs> I'll be scared to like run through that. So it's currently 5.44 on local time, not local time. Let's do Urzian time. There we go. And somebody died. I'm so sorry. I wish I could revive you. Kona Katapo. I wish I could help you out, but I can't. It's currently 6.36 p.m. on the server. I think the time changes like every three seconds. It's the next minute. Yeah, something like that. And that person is riding a lizard. <laughs> I Wow, that's uh, that's kind of cool. You know, if we can't get a chocobo, we'll get a lizard. Or some kind of a fancy creature to, to ride. Now that'd be pretty awesome, in my opinion. A giant tortoise, huh? Uh, we could chop off and fight it. It is on our hunter's log. Nah, we'll get it later. We'll be able to adventure all over the place. And the giant tortoise, we gotta kill four of them. Which should not be a problem for us. Some capture on the area. Alright, so if I want to kill giant tortoises, I'll go to this zone. Because it seems like we got like two over here and they have like weird candle moss plant things growing out of their shells. I don't know, it looks real weird. Let's go ahead and head over to Ulda. There we go. Thank you so much, Chocobo Porter. Let's go ahead and head. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> I was trying to say let's go ahead and for some reason I tripped on my words. I don't know. I seem to do a lot. I'm not bad. Well, let's go ahead and head over to Ulda. And the uh, first person we gotta talk to is in, uh, I believe, the Adventures Guild, actually. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way there. Let's see, anything? Spring is willing. No, that's for level 15. So we've done low f le the level 10 for Pugilist. Uh, I guess, like, the mission. We're gonna have to do level 15 very soon. And as soon as we're able to get that done, that'd be, you know, pretty, pretty awesome, really. Let's see, is it this district? No, this is just the regular, like... Wait, is this the district where the cat goes dance? Let's go check it out. Yep, there they are. It just district with the cats. <laughs> it just the district with the dancing cat girls and they dance here day and night, no matter what. Even like even in the in the, in, the, in the evening time, it's right now 7, 12 p.m. And in the morning, they'll still dance here. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and head over to this direction. I wonder if uh, the emotes that I get when one character transfer over to the other. That's actually a really good question. Persistent? No, we don't have that. Eventually, we'll unlock more emotes in this character. I'm sure of it. I'll look up some quests where we can unlock more emotes, like dancing emotes and stuff. Let's go and talk to Miss Mamodi. There we go. Hello, Miss Mamodi. Ah, Elliot, it's been too long. Uh, Danielle tells me you've been keeping busy in Horizon. I want you to know that I'm grateful for everything you've done for the people of Ulta. Even though you've seen the seedier side of our city, you've continued to help your fellow man. Believe me, the folk around here love you for it. Hmm? What's it? What is it? You look like you got something to say. Uh, which letter is it? Letter to Owen. Uh, we got letter to Kikipu. I guess that's for another quest. There we go, letter to Owen. <clears throat> so, that's what it's all about. Fufulupa is thinking Owen might be in a league with Bladewin. Uh, this letter could be a proof of something shady. Well, he needn't worry. Owen's a law as Sultan Worth as I've ever known. I am the foggiest, um... Uh, Foggiest what this says, but Hmm. Wait a minute. Wasn't Owen the one who... Oh, hells. I got a bad feeling about this. Listen, Elliot. I think I know what this is all about. But I need you to swear to keep it quiet. If you'd rather wash your hands of this business, I won't hold that against you. But if you're determined to see this through the bitter end, then say the word and I'll explain. Uh, yeah. We're gonna do it. <laughs> it doesn't... Unless it's declined or it's like, Hey, you can choose this and pants. We'll get the pants. <laughs> if you say yes, you get pants and gold and experience. And I believe the pants that we have here is actually pants that will match us. There we go, matching pants! That's what we needed. Wonderful. Can I count on your discretion, Elliot? If so, then listen closely. Alright, let's do this and we'll get a ring from this. Wonderful. And the plot thickens even further. This is great. The outside world believes Ulda to be a sultane ruled by Sultana Nam Nanamo on, U on Ulnamo. She's a Sultana Nanamo Ulnamo. Truth is, though, is the six wealthiest citizens that hold the most sway, the syndicate. Be that as it may, the Sultana's got the support of the people. But Yeshua might struggle to keep even, uh, even that if a certain incident becomes public knowledge. It pains me to say this, but Her Grace's crown... The symbol of royal dynasty has been stolen, and Owen owns the Sultan Worth, who is charged with guarding it that night. 
I'd bet anything this letter was written by the bastard who made it off with the crown. It can't be a coincidence that the man we know the man we know to have been fraternizing with thieves has letter of Owen of all people at this of all times. You need to take this to the man himself, Elliot. Tell him a Modi sent you, and that it concerns a lost heirloom. If it looks as though the fellow needs help, I want you to lend it to him. The future of our city may depend on it. Damn. So I guess the crown's been stolen. That's not exactly good. And I'm not 100% sure how politics work in this game. But as far as she told me that the queen doesn't really hold any power, it's a syndicate. The rich, the I guess the wealthiest group holds most of the power. I'm guessing it's, it's kind of like the queen is the, I guess, the, I guess, the symbol for the people. And then the syndicate is the ruling government, kind of like that. Um, or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still learning a little bit more about the politics of this game. And I think it's kind of interesting. I learned a little bit about politics of Gridan New, Grid Grid uh, New Gridania. I think that's what it's called, yeah. Gridania, New Gridania, whatever. I learned about that by playing the old character. But now the plot is going to be thickening. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and take a break right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Samuel, and this has been Elliot Rosepetal and her adventures. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. See ya.